Come on, baby. I'm counting on you. It's time to put aside ways of foolishness. My words say invalid just because I said it. So why do you ask so many questions? How does it make sense? Because I don't have a degree from Harvard. Do you know what goes on in that place? Do I need to explain this to you again? You'll question me why I don't have a college degree. But I cannot question you about why you don't have a relationship with God. That's funny. I need you to tell me that I'm somebody. Is that how it works? Right. <laughs> Get your bachelor's degree and live like a bachelor. But also get married and have wife and kids. <laughs> Yo, y'all better pay attention to the plot of the enemy. He doesn't like you. <laughs> you gotta make sure you do it just right. Or you end up being a debt slave for the rest of your life. You want to spend the next half of your life paying off your college tuition, your loans, and your grants. <laughs> and this is not even me telling you what goes on inside of your place. This is just me giving you a general outline of what you're dealing with. Notice how these major league colleges, they got, they got all these uh, fraternities and sororities. They got all these Alpha Kappa Betas and stuff like that. That's witchcraft. I keep telling y'all this. Y'all seem to think it's a game, bro. I'm not making this up. These people are Freemasons. What do you think the Skull and Bowl Society is? That's not the only fraternity out there. There are many of them. And they are heavily linked with these colleges. Or what I call them collages. Collages of evil. The synagogues of Satan. That's why many of them, when they graduate, they wear, the, they wear that cap and gown. Notice, it's usually never all white. You're more likely to see them dressing all black than you wear in all white. They are the forces of evil. They would deceive you, they'd have you believe in that you're working towards the greater good. They have you believing that you can make society better again, even though they've already pre-designed everything to fall flat on its face. And they can rebuild it in a, his image, the image of the fallen one. There's a reason why they call Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam. Y'all better do y'all research. It 
absorbing as much knowledge as your father passes on for, to you. Your father is not going to live forever. Not in this plane. And you pass it on to your children. You must know that your children understand these things. If some of you do have multiple children, I'm, I'm sad to say this, but some of you are going to have children that are akin to Esau and Jacob. You're going to have a Jacob and you're going to also have an Esau. Now you love your children equally, but you must understand the spirit behind these people just like anyone else. You have to have proper discernment. This is what it is to have a close relationship with the Lord. You can't have your cake and eat it too. It's either good for you or bad for you. Period. I'll be back more with this heat for you later. Until then, take care of yourself. Think about what I'm saying. Alright, one love. Peace.